Paris Saint-Germain travelled north for a tough interrogation by Alonside, and in front of their vibrant, passionate fans, Les saint broke on the Parisians, and Seco Fofana bought a lottery ticket, and his numbers came up. Thanks to an unlikely slack moment from Kehler Navas. The Costa Rica with a rare error as Lons look for successive home league wins over the league leaders. Yet despite being horribly under par, Maurizio Pochettino's subs made the PSG difference. The ball returning to Kylian Mbappe, Jean-Louis Leca would regret having decided to punch. Kylian Mbappe with the delicious cross to the head of Dutchman Gini Wijnaldum as the sub salvaged a point at the death for Paris. Following the end of their 30-match unbeaten run in all competitions, Rennes quickly set about a reboot at bottom of the table, Saint-Étienne. After Wabi Kadri had a goal ruled out for Lever, Martin Thierry initially thought he'd suffer the same fate until VAR proved it onside. Le Rouge et Noir ahead. Sante had won the last meeting between the pair, but it was clear there would be no repeat. Thierry's first attempt deflected away, but the 24-year-old stayed alive with a stunning back heel, soon following to make him a double. And Rennes' advantage increased at the Stade Geoffrey Guichard. Claude Puel's side had spent five of the previous 16 matches rock bottom. Before the break, it was clear they'd be staying there. Bang out of luck. Etienne Green twice the nine young fullback Laurence Alessian. A first top flight goal, but could do nothing about Ivan Masson inadvertently heading in to his own net. Yet the best of the bunch was saved for Terrier to complete his first career hat trick. Lovro Magier handed each of the goals, but this one all about the former OL man's brilliance. A stunning eighth of the season. The misery for Lever fans wasn't complete yet. Leslie Hugo Chukwu netting his first Liga Nuberis goal at just 17. 5-0 to go second in the table. And leave Sonte rock bottom and likely soon to be managerless. Marseille were hoping to tighten their grip on second place, and it was looking good at the break. Dimitri Payet involved in his 200th Liga Nubri's goal with a 107th assist, exchanging with Gerson for the Brazilian to score in successive games. Marseille the only side not to be led at the break, but Michel de Zaccaria's Pirates ransacked the Orange Velodrome in the second half, though a big hand from Bubakar Camara. Penalty awarded. Handed a chance to Romain Favre, one he wouldn't mess up. He scored the only goal for the spot to down Saint Etienne and did so again to hit seven in a season for the first time. Franck Honora then exchanged brilliantly with Jeremy Le Duaron before the former Sante man smashed it past Paul Lopez. A record extending sick league win as Brest stunned the Marseillais. East needed to rediscover their mojo, but they instead ran into red-hot racing side from the east. After both missing chances, Abid Diallo and Ibrahim Sissoko combined as Ludovic Ajorg made it third time lucky. The eagle-eyed striker poking past Walter Benitez to clip Les Aiglons' wings. The best defensive record before kickoff was ruined with two late goals within two minutes of each other. Diallo, who had a penalty award overturned by VAR, finally struck it lucky. Strasbourg heading for 26 points, the best total after 17 matches in the 21st century. And that was put beyond doubt when Adrian Thomasen rounded off a 3-0 win. Eight goals and six points in four days for Julien Stefan side as Nice lost for the third successive home match in a row. Monaco went in search of back-to-back -back league wins for only the second time this season with Metz, the visitors, and Sofia and Diop put the home side on the right path inside just two minutes. Alexander Kija left flat-footed. And Metz had lost 10 of their last 11 against Monaco, and they'd need a run of green to improve that stat. So a penalty against for Kevin Forlund, smashing the ball against Bubagar Koyate, suggested their luck wasn't for turning. On half-time, the German international beating Okija from 12 yards, but Monaco fully in control of the Stade Louis Du. And Le Monégasque put the game beyond their relegation threatened visitors just before the hour mark. Diop turning creator as Jelson Martins struck only for the third time this campaign. 
Well, the last time Monaco scored four in the league was at home in May against Mess. Alexander Gullivan and substitute Wissam Benyeder combining for the latter to score his ninth of the campaign to leave Mess in big trouble. A match brought to life by penalties. Rance had already seen Berisha sent off when Angers were awarded an early second half penalty. Sofian Buffel shot blocked by the arm of Azor Maduswa. Moroccan international superbly beat penalty expert Predag Rajkovic. Yet there was soon a route back in for the 10 men. Suleiman Dumbia, the wrong side of Toma Fouke. Daniel Petkovic saved the first penalty effort, but was ruled to have stepped off his line. Ugo Ekateke brave enough to try again, and this time the teenager succeeded to net in successive games for the first time following his Lyon heroics. However, any joy was not to last as Angers made their advantage count. Buffal turning provider to slip Angelo Fulgini in and earn Sko a huge three points. Montpellier aimed for back-to-back -back wins for only the second time this campaign and they were on their way just shy of the half-hour mark. The ball fought kindly for Eli Wai to curl in a beauty to net in successive matches. Lapayed had won only two out of 12 home games against newly promoted sides and Steffi Mavedidi finished off this flowing team move. They could have been on easy street. In the end, they were thankful to their Swiss stopper as Jonas Omland made a number of top saves. The best, though, denying Johan Gastian from distance as Clermont lost for the sixth time in the last seven. Lille wanted to build on their fine midweek away win over Rennes, but they were without successive league wins in over two months, and Bogey Team Trois hit the front early. Tristan Dingome on six minutes, a stunner, as they stack unbeaten in the previous six against Losk, and also hunting consecutive league wins. But the champions used the break to recover their composure, something substitute Jonathan David has in abundance, as the Canadian international scored his 11th of the season. That coming just three minutes after the break, but just before the end, David involved again as the Liga and Uber Eats top scorer, instrumental in their late winner, initially thought to be his 12th of the season, but in the end, a Jimmy Giraudon desperate attempt to block turned into an own goal that secured Lille victory. Since joining Bordeaux, Vladimir Petkovic has witnessed the most goals this season. Soon it was a 62nd and a 38th concession for the leakiest defence. Jason Denier heading visitors Lyon into the lead. Yet OL, well, after the pain of a last gasp loss to Reims in midweek at home, there was more when Remy Odin forced Malo Gusto into a bad taste of own goal after fine work from Alberto Ellis. Turned out to be 12 first half minutes and three goals as Lyon recovered to lead in spectacular fashion with a goal made in Brazil. Luca Paqueta didn't know much about his assist, but we knew much about Thiago Mendes' power as he forced in his first league goal for the Lyonnais. His last in Liga Uber Eats came four years ago against Lyon for Lille. And yet OL hoping for successive away wins, only for Ellis to break clear. Lyon during marking the election of the country's first female president with a fifth of the season. Lorient hosted Nantes in a much anticipated Breton derby, and Ali Melu needed something to light a fire under them. But Terry Moffi denied brilliantly by Alban Lafont. The Merlu had lost their last five league games, but despite 17 efforts, they couldn't find a goal their build up play deserved. And Nantes won it with their only shot on target. Off the bench to win it, we learned Cyprian on the spin for his first goal in 23 months to consign Lorient to a sixth successive defeat. Twenty-nine goals in round 17, of which five may yet call time on Puel's time with Sante, shortly after the full-time whistle, being suspended from his role. No fewer than five away winners, as only three homeboys took all three points. Paris far from convincing on the pitch, but their healthy advantage for the autumn champions only shaved to 11. Rennes into second after emphatically running, turning to winning ways. Marseille hold on to the podium with a game in hand on their rivals. Sante remained bottom and could yet be looking for new direction. 
They've conceded the same amount of goals as Metz. Only Bordeaux have conceded more, but a point took the Girondin out of the bottom three, replaced by Clermont. After three matches in a week, a bit of respite, for those not in European action at least. Brest will go for unprecedented Magnificent Seven in the match of the former coaches after Zakarian and Dal Olio swap benches at PSG host Monaco on Sunday night.